So if you have an Android device and a compatible Bluetooth OBD2 reader, you can install the Torque app. Uh, I have it on my phone right now. If you have an Android head unit that allows you to install apps, you can install it on there as well and then have the gauges just pop up on, on the screen. So it's a wonderful program. It lets you read engine codes, turn off check engine lights, and then read various sensors on the car and then assign them to a graph, a digital readout, or an analog readout. You can, you can get a couple of different themes for it as well. So you can see I've picked a theme that kind of matches the dash on the car, and I've gone with both analog and digital readouts. Uh, it's great for monitoring the vitals in the car. You can also use it for diagnosis and troubleshooting. Uh, when I had my turbo Corolla, it was instrumental in helping me tune and tweak the fuel mapping and timing ignition on it. Uh, right now, I just like to monitor what's going on with the TC while I drive. So you can see I've got the uh, measured AFR, I've got the targeted AFR, then I've got voltage, and then the coolant temperature. After that, on the bottom, I've got the throttle. So you can see I'm pushing down on the throttle. Then I've got the intake temperature, which is only um, reading 71.6 degrees while I'm moving, and it's only 64 degrees out according to the dash. Uh, the last two gauges are mass airflow sensor and then vacuum. So there are uh, there's a free version of this that you can check out. I've had it for years though. I like it a lot, and uh, I wanted to support the 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 programmer, so I went ahead and bought the pro version. I definitely recommend checking it out at least, um, especially if you want to have some more information about your car, but you but you don't want to commit to you know installing actual gauges on the vehicle. Unfortunately, because of uh, side curtain airbags, you can't really put gauges there, so you've, you've got some limited options of where to really install them on the vehicle without having them be in the way or without ruining your dash in the process. So check it out. There's a free version. See if it works for you. And if it does, I would go ahead and uh, support the programmer and pick up the paid version. Thanks for checking this out.